The Panzerkampfwagen II tank had originally been designed as a stopgap vehicle while larger, more advanced tanks were developed. But it played an important role in the early years of World War II. In February of 1939, the German Army High Command ordered the development of a Flammpanzer or a flamethrower tank. This tank was called Panzer II Flamm and the soldiers often called it Flamingo. Both producers of the Panzer II, Mann and Daimler-Benz were selected to develop that project. Shortly afterwards, in July of 1939, a new chassis was built. It was armed with two flamethrowers mounted on track guards on each side. They were mounted in special turret-like cases that allowed them to operate at 180 degrees radius. Each flamethrower had its own fuel tank with 160 liters capacity which was enough to fire 80 shots at a maximum range of 25 meters. The flamethrower's fuel consisted of a mixture of oil and gasoline that was shot with the help of pressurized nitrogen stored in tanks. For additional armament, a 7.9 mm MG34 machine gun with 1,800 rounds was carried inside the vehicle. The crew consisted of three men, a driver, radio operator and a commander flamethrower operator. The armor protection of the tank ranged from 14 to 30 mm thickness. From April to September of 1939, Mann produced 46 complete chassis, which were to be converted into Flammpanzers in January of 1940. In March of the same year, another 30 Panzer II tanks were taken from the 7th and 8th Panzer divisions, and they were also converted to Flammpanzer tanks. Altogether, approximately 90 Panzer II Flamm were produced from May to December of 1940. These tanks were issued to special units, the Panzerabteilung Flamm 100 and 101. The Panzer II Flamm were used as a close combat weapon to support the German infantry units against bunkers. During Operation Barbarossa, Panzerabteilung 100 was attached to the 18th Panzer Division and Panzerabteilung 101 was attached to the 7th Panzer Division. The Flammpanzer tanks saw limited service in Russia until late 1941, when both units were withdrawn to Germany to reorganize. According to the reports, these early flame tanks were not really successful. The effective range of their flamethrower was too short and the armor of the tanks was too insufficient. This is why all the Flammpanzers were converted into self-propelled anti-tank guns, mainly Marder II tank hunters. A number of turrets were removed and they ended up as part of different German fortifications, mainly in Norway.